everybody present here. Uh, before I say anything, I just want to say that what am I asking, I do not mean any disrespect to anybody and to anyone. Uh, I'm a very young person, so please excuse me if I say anything inappropriate. My question is, uh, since as, as far as I've heard and know, and I've seen around me that Islam does not believe in idol worship. So I want to know what are the reasons for non-believe in idol worship? That's my first question. The brother asked the question that as far as he believes that Islam does not believe in idol worship, why Islam doesn't believe in idol worship? The reason Islam doesn't believe in idol worship because it is prohibited. Point number one, you cannot make idol of God. The moment you make an idol of God, you're degrading God. Imagine you make idol and suppose the idol falls. What happens to the idol? The idol breaks. If the idol cannot help itself, how can it help me? Sir, uh, but my point here is that if there's an idol of God, it might not be the actual actual God that we, that actually exists. But if it helps me in focusing my worship towards Him, if it helps me in actually uh, in increasing my focus when I'm actually praying to Him, don't you think it is correct? Brother said that if that idol helps me in focusing God, isn't it good for Him? But when God says, don't make an idol of me, and yet you tell me it helps me in focusing on God, is it right or is it wrong? If you love God, will you obey God or not? If you love God, you have to obey Him. Suppose you're working in a company and the boss tells you, the boss tells you that come on time. You have to come at 10 o'clock sharp. You say, no, if I come 11 o'clock, I will sleep, I'll be more fresh, I'll come at 11 o'clock. Is it right or is it wrong? So that's wrong. Then some people come at 10, some people 11, some people 12. No, no, but you know, I know I can work better. Some people come at 1 o'clock, some people come at 2 o'clock. Do you think the company will function correctly? No, I love my boss very much. The boss says, come on time, 10 o'clock means 10 o'clock. If you don't love your boss, then you may come late and maybe write in the register, I've come on time. That's cheating. So God has clearly mentioned in the Quran that idol worship is prohibited. It's even mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. Clearly it says, as I mentioned earlier in Sveta Sveta Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19 in Yajurved, Chapter 32, verse number 3. Na tasse patima asti. Of that God, there is no pratima. There is no image. There is no photograph. There is no painting. There is no portrait. There is no idol. There is no sculpture. There is no statue. So when God is saying there is no statue, no sculpture, you say, no, no. To concentrate, I require God. This, who says that? The Hindu Pandit. When I speak to the Pandit, that it's clearly mentioned in the way that idol worship is wrong. What they say, no, no. Initially, when you're in the initial stages, at the lower level, you require idol to concentrate. When you reach the higher stage, higher consciousness, idol is not required. So I tell the Hindu Pandit, the Muslims have already reached the higher consciousness. Uh, sir, so, but if it is helping me, helping me in any way, why would God say that do not do it? Because you're degrading God. I'm asking your boss comes at 10 o'clock. No, it's helping me. If I come at 11 o'clock, I'm feeling happy. So the boss will tell you, if it's helping you, get out of this company. Go and join some other company. Someone comes at 10, someone 11, someone 12. Your employee, you tell come at 10 o'clock. I mean, your employer says, I will come at 12 o'clock. I feel happy. I feel good about it. I'm praising you. Very good, boss. Will you like it? Every day he says, my boss is very good, my boss is very good. You know, Tasbi, you know, Rosary, my boss is very good. Other employee comes at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. My boss is very good, my boss is very good. The boss will say, Bye. you stop praising me, you come on time and do your work rather than praising me. So your God, your creator has told you in your scripture, Hindu scripture, in the Christian scripture, in the Muslim scripture, don't make idol. You're degrading God. God is so powerful, you're making an idol out of... And who makes that idol? Who makes it human being? So God will tell, I have created the human beings, not the human beings are creating me. What nonsense it is. So, so we're not... you, when God is telling you, don't require an idol, concentrate on God without idol. So we're not creating God when we're making an idol. And, I'm, and I think that we're not degrading him when we make an idol. It's just that if you make a form of him and, and assume it's a, it's a, there's a part of him, even if it is not there. Is that what is mentioned in your Vedas? Sir, I am, no, I am not an Hindu, so I do not believe in the Vedas. What are you? Are you a Christian? Sir, I am a Jain. Jain. Jains believe in God? Yes, sir, they do. Do you know your Jainism? Who is your God? Tell me. 
So, Lord Mahavira. He is the Tritanka, he is not God. You don't know your Jainism. Sir, I might know it, no, not know Jainism it entirely. Jainism is an atheistic religion. Jainism is an atheistic religion. You are mixing Hinduism with Jainism. Sir, I claim that I am not in Hinduism. I know you are not a Hindu, but if you are a Jain and you are saying Mahavir is God, where is it mentioned in your Jain scripture Mahavir is God? He is a Tritanka. Yes, sir, he is. He is not God. So, but then we worship him and all the other Tirthankars. But he is not God. Did Mahavi tell that you should worship him? I like that, I have not read you the You don't gems. know, that's what I'm telling you. You don't know what Mahavi said and you're saying Mahavi is Tritanka. Isn't it your duty that you should find out what Mahavira said? Yes, sir, it is. So, so what I, that means you're an illogical person. Sir, when you I'm... join a company, don't you follow the rules and regulations of the company? Yes, sir. Jainism is an atheistic religion. So there was they a... believe that someone who comes in life, dying, birth, birth, death, birth, death, if you are free from the cycle, when you don't have any negative or positive, you get nirvana, moksha. There are 24 people who have attained moksha according to Jainism. Yes, and sir. Mahavir is the 24th Tirthanka. Yes, sir. 24th. Yes, sir. He is not God. Yes, sir. So that means you don't know your Mahavir, you don't know your Jainism. So how can I talk to you about Jainism? Sir, uh, I'm not talking here that... Sir, what I'm asking is that if is idol worship... Sir, what you're telling me is that uh, what because it's mentioned in the Quran that idol worship is wrong... Mentioned in Quran, wrong. mentioned in Bible. No! It is mentioned in Quran, mentioned in Bible, mentioned in Hindu scriptures that idol worship is wrong. So where do you get this philosophy from? Sir, 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 uh, my saying, my point is that we are assuming here that if Quran is actually what God has told, so that means that uh, that's why idol worship is wrong. If I say that, if I argue, that it might be a pointless argument, but if I argue that Quran is not uh, the the word the words of God, then what is the uh, what is the actual logic that why idol worship is Very wrong? Very good. So what is the word of God? You have to tell me. If Quran is not the word of God, then which is the word of God? Sir, I do not know. That's why I'm asking you. If you don't know, I know. Now, so you follow me. If you don't know, you ask a teacher. Now, a student tells the teacher, 2 plus 2 is not equal to 4. Teacher says, what is it? I don't know. Sir, but if I'm not convinced of the answer, if then not obviously convinced, ask, ask again. If you're not convinced, that's the reason. Did you hear my early answer? Have you seen my tapes? No, sir. This is the Go. first time attending you, Fine. your lecture. Have you heard the earlier answer which I spoke to an atheist about science? Were you paying attention? Sir, maybe I was not present in the hall that time. I'm, can you... So which the answer thing you is that if you're not available, what I request you, you go and see my video cassette, Is the Quran God's Word, my DVD. Uh, can, you repeat the DVD? can you repeat the name? Is the Quran God's Word. Is the Quran God's Word. And inshallah, if you watch it with an open mind, you will inshallah accept that Quran is the Word of God. You will believe that there is one God who doesn't have any idol, and inshallah you will accept it. So go and see that DVD, it's a four hour DVD. And inshallah, if you have any queries, you can write to my email, zakir at irf.net.